Hey Sears Fit Club peeps, how's it going? Um, it's January, We're kind of midway through January, but everybody still is talking about you know how they're going to reach their goals this year. And I think one of the simplest things that's really helping me, and it's a it's a simple concept, but is to make mini goals and have an accountability partner to help you on those mini goals. So. In order to accomplish what you haven't accomplished before, you've got to do things that you haven't done before. And that means like you can't just say you're going to do it, you've got to set up a system on how you're going to do it. So if you say, I want to lose, this, lose weight this year, right? One of the easiest things to do to make it easy and more doable is to chunk that up into little goals. And I've started to see that a lot of like trainers, um, some of the books that I've read, instead of saying, you know, take out all of this, take out food groups, um, start doing, you know, 60 minutes a day of cardio plus, you know, 45 minute weight training, and it becomes overwhelming because you've gone from doing like nothing or maybe you were just running 20 minutes a day and all of a sudden you're like, I've got all these food rules, I've got all these supplements, I've got to, you know, go outside, I've got to make it to the gym, whatever. Keep it simple. And a lot of what I've been reading lately and some of the more successful trainers, or I don't want to say successful or just unsuccessful, but they're starting to tell people to just take each week and add something in. Add a good habit. Add one habit each week, as opposed to like changing everything and starting a whole new comprehensive program and eliminating food groups and taking on a way too way too many changes in your workout program. Take one habit and add it each week. So maybe your first week is I'm going to start drinking water, and you do that all week. And then the second week, in addition to drinking more water, you maybe you want to start talking about quitting Splenda. And maybe instead of quitting Splenda, you just cut down from four in your coffee to three. And then the next week you cut down from three to two. Um, maybe you want to add more vegetables. Make that like I'm going to have vegetables at dinner every single night this week. Pretty simple. Or maybe you want to say five days a week. Make it simple. Make it attainable because I'm telling you the more that you have those little, little um, like, wow, look what I did. And look what I did this week. It's going to make it that much easier for you to attack that next goal next week. And sure enough, by the end of the year, yeah, let's look at that. That's 52 new habits that you've created. And it makes it easier as opposed to saying, you're starting this whole new comprehensive program that's overwhelming, it has all these changes, and you're looking at the beginning of what, 12 weeks, or three months, or six months, and you're like, oh my God, I have to do this that long? Make it small, make it achievable, and put the goals out there so that everybody's gonna double check on you and make sure that you're keeping in tune and keeping on track. I guarantee you it's gonna work.